Okay, AL, so you were so dominant during this match. Did your singles rest day give you a boost of more energy? I definitely do feel really energized. I don't think I thought of it until you just said that, but I do think it gave me a boost, but I'm still a little tired from Nationals week. I still feel it, so definitely ready for Thanksgiving break. Yeah, Catherine, speaking of Nationals, just last week, we play, you guys played a whole week long of, of pickleball, and then you come back here and right again in the finals. So how... how how did you rest between those maybe like two or three days? Was home maybe for 48 hours, <laughs> tried to recover, and then was back at it on Thursday. I was here, we drove from Naples to here on Thursday, and then happy to be playing in the last tournament before Thanksgiving break. Yeah, you both are Flor Florida Florida Floridians. Floridians. Yes. Floridians. There you go, yeah. So how, what is it like playing in your home state? It's really nice. At the same time, it is hurricane season in Florida, so <laughs> interesting time to have a tournament. <laughs> but it was nice to be able to drive and not. I can't imagine having to fly. We probably would have stayed in Dallas and then flown somewhere, so it was nice to come home. But I said to Catherine, it, it gives you like a taste of being home, and it's almost worse. So true. And then I feel like we're used to the environment. Some players are not used to playing That's in this true. like humid weather, so it's a little bit of an advantage for us. And uh, Catherine, there was a weather change today. The sun came out. Does that change your game at all mentally, especially from playing outside today? I think it was more the wind. It yeah. hasn't been like super, actually it's not super windy when we play like under the, the cover courts. So it was more getting used to the wind again, just because we haven't been playing with so much wind in it was uh, a lot. Dallas. Actually, there was no. not that much wind. So we just had to get you know, used to the wind a little bit for our first two matches that we played outdoor. And AL, um, like Cameron said, there was a lot of lobs and differences in your gameplay. Was that discussed before the match, knowing how Andrea and the game play? Yes, but you can only lob from certain parts of the court. And I, so I think like there would have been more if we would have gotten more opportunities to do that. And then Vivian lobbed me a couple times, missed some overheads. And then my mom was like, Andrew, they're all going out. That's why you're missing them. So I finally let that one go, and it felt good. But yeah, I think you're starting to see more lobs in the women's game. Just in general, I think everybody's starting to realize, you know, how useful it is. Because it's tough, like, disguising shots is really easy in pickleball, especially when you're at the pro level. You can speed up, hit a dink, and hit a lob from, like, the same swing almost. So I think a lot of people are starting to utilize them more. Do you think we'll see more of that in your game plan? Why not? It depends on the day. <laughs> if, if I'm feeling the lobs, then yes. If I'm not, we probably won't see any. <laughs> I'll try one and then realize I'm done. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you.